remains have been discovered near the Anthony home. The sheriff's office says they've seen significant fines there already, and experts are being brought in to comb over every inch of this scene. Local 6 Morning News reporter Tiffany Tiff is live near the scene on Suburban Drive. Tiffany, we won't get an identity on this body for at least a week or so. Yeah. But either way, they have to make sure that when they do determine if this is Kaylee, they know what the manner of all of the other evidence is around the body. Yeah, Lauren, they are being quite meticulous out here. You know, no one expected them to be out here. In fact, uh, law enforcement didn't even expect themselves to be out here this long. But today is day six out here at this crime scene where human remains were found just blocks from the Anthony home. Now, as the days pass, the crime scene continues to grow. Forensics teams have set up a grid, scooping up buckets of dirt and pouring it into sifting tables, searching through the debris by hand and removing arms of brush from the wooded area. Now, investigators have requested that a rush be put on the testing of the small skeleton found in the woods near the Anthony home, but they've made it clear that there's no way they'll get a positive ID in a day or two. Keep in mind that, uh, you know, this is not uh, CSI where in 40 minutes, you know, we're able to solve crimes and prosecute them. Uh, in a perfect world, that'd probably be great, but, uh, you know, you can see again how, how methodical they're being about this. In fact, the Orange County Sheriff's Office says one of their biggest challenges has been the underbrush overgrowth. They say forensics teams are methodically weeding through the brush, picking out every microscopic sample and documenting it in hopes of using it as potential evidence. Now, investigators have told us that they will likely know by Christmas if this is the body of Kaylee Anthony, but many questions remain, like how did law enforcement and cadaver dogs miss this body, especially so close to the Anthony home when weather reports show that with, there was not enough rain in this area to submerge a body in a bag at the time that this investigation started. And of course, there's always that other question of, what, did Casey Anthony have anything to do with the disappearance of her daughter, Kaylee? Uh, of course, we probably won't know any of that information for months to come. For now, reporting live, I'm Tiffany Tepps, Local 6 Morning News. Thank you, Tiffany. Casey Anthony's defense loading up with some big names, but her attorney, Jose Baez, refuses to say who's paying for the whole thing. Among those brought in by Mr. Baez, co Counsel Linda Kenny Baden, author and wife of famed New York pathologist Michael Baden, author Kathy Reichs, forensic, uh, forensic make that anthropologic, uh, anthropologist and TV producer doctors Henry Lee, Werner Spitz as well, both involved in the investigation of the Kennedy assassination and the O.J. Simpson murder case. Again, Baez not talking about financial arrangements. I don't think it's any concern of anyone who's paying for all of this, um, and I'll leave it at that. It's confidential information. Anthony's attorney says his clients are not making money from whatever deals are in the works. He says they are not interested from profiting from this tragedy.